Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with Pocketnow.com and we're going to do a little comparison of Windows Live Messenger and how it looks on a bunch of different mobile platforms. So, let's uh, start off with the Nokia. So here we are with the Nokia N8 running uh, Windows Live Messenger. The N8 is not really supposed to support Windows Live Messenger, but this is kind of a trick to get it working. And it is supported on other Symbian platforms. So you can see at the bottom we support pictures, voice clips, conversation, emoticons. It's a little bit difficult to type in there. And you can add people to the conversation. You can have multiple people in the conversation. This one really isn't designed for the uh, Nokia N8, but you can see it's there. And it has some decent features. It does not support multiple sign-in, so you can forget about that. But we've got it on the Symbian, so that's that one. And next, let's go to old Windows Mobile 6.5. We can uh, chat with people. It's going to bring up another window. And over in the menu, you can do emoticons, send a picture or a voice clip or a file. And we can add participants. So you can have multiple people in the conversation. I mentioned voice clips already. And you have a nice voice clip button right there so you can really easily do a voice clip and send it pretty much with one hand. And we have little tabs at the bottom. So that's pretty cool. Some good features there. We got a text message over there. <laughs> Okay, so that's Windows Mobile 6.5. And next, let's do with the Zoom HD. So here's the Zoom version of Windows Live Messenger. We have a social. This will download little uh, Windows Live, uh, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn updates. So you can see what people are talking about and you can comment on what they're saying. Go to recent, you can go to me. Very much like Windows Live Messenger on the desktop. You can see friends. And this loads all your Facebook people as well. So you can chat with Facebook. There's the Facebook if we go over there. It's going to show Facebook people there. And we have all our categories. So let's see, chatting just supports sending messages, no pictures or voice clips or anything like that. Okay, there's some options, very nice metro design. Unfortunately it doesn't support notifications when it's off, so if I go back home that's the end of Messenger. All right, so that's the Zoom HD. Next, let's do the BlackBerry. I'm already signed in here. I can do instant messages here. I can attach a file, or a voice clip, or a picture, or a contact. So I can send uh, contact information with this BlackBerry. Windows Live Messenger app. You can also see the contact information. And under the menu we have auto text. You can block the people. You can send a file. You can invite more people. Let's try that. So there you go. 
and this does not support multiple sign-in either. So once you sign in there, it's going to log you off with the other ones. The Zune HD does support multiple sign-in. And next, how about the iPhone? Here we are with the iPhone, rather iOS on an iPod Touch. And this also supports multiple sign-in, and it supports Facebook chat. We have the social button. It's going to download your Facebook, Windows Live, LinkedIn, etc., etc., all sorts of updates from there. I can uh, do my updates, my status updates for Windows Live, Facebook, MySpace, whatever, and I can add pictures there. For friends, for chat, we can do pictures and emoticons, no voice clips. So that's that. Chats are there. And we can see online photos. And this does support multiple sign in. I believe I said that already. But that's a really awesome feature because you can be signed in with the same account on multiple devices on your desktop computer, or laptop, all at the same time and just respond wherever you want. Lastly, Windows Phone 7. So here we are on Windows Phone 7, and Microsoft didn't even make a Windows Live Messenger app for Windows Phone 7, you know, their own mobile platform. This is instead Messenger by Miawa. And uh, they say that Microsoft contracted this company to make it. So it's here and it works, but uh, <laughs> it's not terribly great. So here's our contacts. You can tap it to do instant messages and you can invite other people and you can do emoticons you cannot do voice clips or pictures or file sending none of that stuff that everybody else can do so there's that you see conversations over here status update there are some cool settings you can do a change of wallpaper and we can have push notifications. So if I go back to the home screen, my live tile should update. Doesn't seem to be doing it now, but when a conversation, when an instant message comes in, it should show a little message bubble there, and it should show the online status. So that's Windows Live Messenger on a variety of mobile devices. You can see some are definitely better than others. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know which Windows Live Messenger you like the best on which platform, and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. That's it for now.